talk a bit about speed dating. In order to find the right partner, you have to spend 75 hours speed dating, and it costs about 500 quid on average. Anyone who thought speed dating could actually work in my book is just... It's ridiculous. Why? Because what can happen in a three-minute conversation? Yes, no, I now live in London, but I was born in, uh, born in Cambridge. Marry me! I mean, what, <laughs> do you know what I mean? What are you going to have in that three minutes? So it's a question of just looking at someone and either seeing it there or then. So you, it's you, never going to happen. So you, you don't believe in love at first sight? Having said that, I think there are very rare occasions. Like I've, my greatest friend's now husband looked across a table at lunch and saw her and went, that's my wife. They're now married. So it does, it does happen. There was a fabulous documentary about this couple and they just met on a train and as soon as they, they saw each other they just knew. And there's a great bit in the documentary where they talk about what the, the guy goes off to get a drink and just leaving her alone in the compartment, he just feels terrible. And they, they, they've Aww. just met. This, look, this is the clip. It's amazing. I went up the train towards the bar that's away from Henrietta. When he left the carriage, I felt a sense of overwhelming misery and I couldn't account for it. I went to have a pee in the laboratory and it was the most mournful pee I've ever had in my life. That's not real. That is real. That's real. We have a man in, in the audience who's done a bit of speed dating actually. There's John. <laughs> I, I agree with what Miranda was saying to an extent but you know, you, there is still chemistry. Time's up. Three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, I don't like you. <laughs> um, the better speed dating companies um, run the evening so that they take away, shall we say, nervousness and... You know, Joe, I expected you to talk a lot faster. <laughs> <laughs> if I mention a game of two halves very briefly, you don't actually need to speak at all when you have your three minutes. A game of two halves? No, because it's... A, football, table football themes to be dating. So you can just play a game of table football with your partner right. and, and not say a word to them, apart from would you like to play table football? <laughs> <laughs> so this is a form of dating that, for, that involves football and not talking to women. <laughs> One of the good things about it is that you're encouraged to adopt a, an identity. So a nom de plume, <laughs> a fancy dress costume. Who did you go as though, if you had to go in a costume, who did you go as? Um, Sir Arthur Evans. <laughs> that would do it. <laughs> the old Sir Arthur Evans chat up line. <laughs> Who is Sir Arthur Evans? He, he excavated Knossos in Crete. <laughs> oh, he did, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> has, it, has it ever worked for you, Joe? Has, has, have you ever had like a proper day off the back of a speed date? Uh, you might sound surprised, but yes. Um, no, I'm not at all surprised. You seem like a very charming fellow. Um, Hello. <laughs> I'm not talking to you on satellite, am I? <laughs> and what, what, have you got an opening gambit that gets them um, straight away? Um, I once offered um, uh, cream eggs, actually. I said, cream you know, eggs? Would you like a cream egg? <laughs> 